Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Media True Net, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Where you join me here in El Rey Motel, which is now my room because this guy, this guy is, yeah, he, he's not really. Let's just just move him into here. We'll just we'll just keep him nice and safe, nice and safe. There we go. He's now in the bathtub. That's absolutely fine. This is definitely my room. Very nice. I've got Christmas lights and everything. This is lovely. So, we've made it further north than I think we've ever been before last week. Yes, there we go. Most definitely. Previously, I think we got to about, yeah, here-ish. We got cut off by tunnelers. So, this is the furthest north we've ever been. And it's time for us to explore, yes, the eastern side of Vegas, where there's all sorts of interesting things. The sharecropper farms, the gun runners, Crimson Caravan, the medical place, the followers kind of medical outpost where you get the actual, um, the implants in the base game. Freeside, all sorts of stuff. Because we've been over to the west. Freeside's a bit of a no-go, full of cloud survivors, but there was a door, a hard-locked door that might be the best way to get into the strip. But I want to see what's going on the front way in through Freeside. I just want to see what's going on there, especially as we know that the kings have been moved, so maybe there's some more interesting lore going on inside the king's place if we can get there. I had another thing as well. We now know there's cloud survivors over on the west and around to cloud survivors outside Aerotech. Suggesting possibly the entirety of the northeast area around Vegas might be cloud survivors. This might be where the cloud is at its heaviest. Because, well, I'm not sure if that's... Oh, plus two. Uh-oh. Right, more rad away, more radex. If I take a step closer to, to here... No, it's fine. If I take a step closer to... Is it actually in here? I'm just doing a rad away as well. No, something was causing plus two rads there, but it's fine for the time being. Now, what is going on in the sharecropper farms? I mean, logically, they're just farms. They might theoretically be abandoned if, yeah, there was no... Oh, we're out of the rads. Okay, why there? Why there in particular? What is casting those rads? Because it's not... It's not McCarran itself, so... Oh. Movement. Okay. Stay over here. We're out of the rads, which is good. No, no, we're back in the rads. Okay, we're back in the rads. No, we're back out of the rads. Everything's fine. Stay over here. Cannibals! Why would cannibals... Yeah, cannibals on a farm. Fascinating. Well, let's just explore the greenhouses. Because there might still be... Well, it's probably hoping for too much to assume there might still be food here. But I'll give it a go. Oh, the bone garden. That's probably not a good thing. Okay. There's nobody here, but... Ah. Gore bags. Human flesh. But why are you growing it? Doesn't... Well, maybe it does grow. Maybe if you irradiate human flesh, it starts just growing by itself. Who bloody knows? Right, so... No longer anything. Ooh, dirty water. I'll take a whole big old pile of dirty water, thank you. Oh, stepped outside. Now I'm into caution. There's more cannibals. Yeah, rule of cannibals. However many you see, there's more than that. Let's just back off over here for a second. Get an overview. Might be able to sneak around the side of some of these bastards. And I've still got that McCullum rifle. That I really want to basically use up and then move straight on. They're not holding still, though. The nice thing about cannibals is they have this lovely, lovely habit of not actually possessing guns. Oh, uh-oh. 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 Yeah, okay. I see. Okay, so there are... There's some guns. So how about we just step back over... Oh, bloody hell. What was that? That was... Okay, probably makeshift something or another. Uh. Ah, possibly nail gun. Right, okay. Go for the leg. May as well. We'll just blow your leg out from under you. I can kill a few of them, but this possibly isn't going to work. Okay, what have you got? You've just got a stick. If they've got a stick, they ain't worth the trouble. Uh, jump through here. They might not be able to follow me, actually. Uh, oh, yes, you just can. I've found the fields of salvation, apparently. Screw it. You can just die. And then we can just drop this rifle and be on our way. Uh, and then we just need to start moving, like, as soon as possible. So that needs to just go. That's no longer any use to us. 
Go over to the 9mm. Point blank range, that'll work just fine. How much do I have in the way of stim packs? Enough. If flipping enough, keep flipping. Oh dear! Okay, that was. That was less good. They've got explosives. Okay, well that's. That's fine. Will you guys just naff for. Oh, bl Okay. This way might. No. This might be a. Yeah, this is definitely not the way to go. They've got a lot of explosives. Question is, where else do I actually go? If I want to loop all the way around the outside of these fields, that's going to bring me back towards Aerotech where I know there's cloud survivors. Cutting straight through the fields of salvation to get me through to actual Vegas proper might not be a bad idea. I do have a stealth boy. Yeah, you know what? This would probably not be a terrible time for it. There we go. Fields of salvation again. Plenty of... Oh, yeah. Them's the rules of cannibals. So, many you see, there's more. And on this occasion, I see plenty. Skipping straight past these guys strikes me as a very, very good idea. Maybe pick off a handful of them from the very edge. But remember, beyond that, we got gun runners. And that's... If anyone's going to survive, it would be the gun runners. All right. They've got a defended little fortress position. They've got all of the flipping guns. Hello. Oh, that's even more cannibals. I think I'm walking straight into Cannibal Central over here. That's that's what it feels like, because they're not just in the field, they're, they're elsewhere as well. Oh, caution, caution. Careful, do not get spotted. Some of these bastards are armed. There we go, lost interest, moving straight on. Okay, 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 okay. Question is, no, not you. Don't care about him. Got my McCullum rifle and four good, powerful shots in it. And there's also a big sandstorm. Okay. This is new. The same sand effect that you'd normally see in uh, Hidden Valley. After dusk, we've got here instead. All right. What do we have? This is, yeah, this is coming up on gun runners right now. Question is, what, if anything... Is left. I'm guessing this isn't a shop anymore. But then again, possibly they couldn't figure out how to turn the robot off because that robot is. Oh, cannibal fort. All right. Well, uh, we got we got something around there. I see you. Fine. And the shot. Oh, yeah, the sight on this thing is a little bit on the awkward side. Let's just move straight through. Honestly, cannibals yield very little XP, so I'm not really... Oh, Right, it's the guy from the Quest of Macara, but he's still just sort of here, because cause why not, eh? Ah, they've just boarded it up. Okay, oh, and we've got... Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. No, none of that if you'd be so kind. Yeah, only 9 XP for loss of one sanity and one bullet. It's just not worth it. Ah, but my... My stealth boy's worn off. That's no good. And what is ahead of me? That is... Looks like three different cannibals. Yeah, a group of three. What have you got on you? Claw hammer. Check for weapons. See what we can find here. Knife spear. Where's the other one? Alright, cultist scepter. No weapons. Good. And when I say no weapons, I just mean, you know, no weapons that really kind of matter. Because if you are melee lads, that means you are going to run straight over to... Okay. They do have explosives though. But that's fine. Just toss those away. Get a bit closer. Yeah, there you are. That's a face I'm sure your mother loves. Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. You just threw something too. You just threw something too. Or you're trying to. Someone up there. This guy right here. Yeah, these guys are taking multiple shots to the head. Two is doing the job though. There's two. Back off, and should be enough for another couple of shots right into your face right here. Right up close and personal. Hello, lovely. Give us a kiss, and one will do for you. We're in danger right now. Quickly check what we've got going on here, uh, because there's probably more flipping coming. Uh, especially, yeah, the guys up top. They know what's going on, uh, meaning probably there's someone coming from that direction sooner rather than later. However, I've made it to O. Oh. And now we know why the South Barricade was named the South Barricade. But we've got a trooper skeleton. Go on, give me a note. Give me a... What do you mean, no note? 
Okay, so the NCR have properly blocked up this place. And we've got survivors over there. Right, so we're out of cannibal territory, which I consider to be a good thing. Need to cut through here if I want to get to the other entrance to Freeside. Assume you can even get into Freeside. Maybe you can't anymore. Maybe like the end game's in Freeside, but to get to... No, because there's no way into McCarran. So, to get to McCarran, there has to be... Oh, unless, of course... Unless you have to use that hard-locked door to get into the strip to either take the Mon Road to McCarran or to get into Freeside where there's something important. Alright, either of those things is feasible. There we go. Sneak attack on you if you'd be so kind. 45 XP. Right, Sanity needs to keep an eye on that, or at least maybe need to just keep doing the booze. Move through here. What is going on inside Crimson Caravan? Well, Survivor Camp, fine. And hostile survivors, not the friendly kind, or at least the neutral kinds. Any chance of... No, and I'm glad I took you out. If you've got grenades on, you're rather grenade ammo. Good chance you might have just pulled a grenade launcher out of your ass had I allowed you to. There's the front gate. Alright. I don't see any movement around there. Maybe that is a way in. Right, I'm going to regret this, but I just want to see what's going on in here. Alright. It's going to be bad, but, you know, I'm curious. And the answer is yes. The answer is, everybody wants me to die. Apart from those dogs over there, who might make... Oh, NCR Trooper. Okay, that's... that's. You know what, I've decided I'm just going to go. I've decided I'm just going to leave. And if the odd one decides to follow me back outside, then that's... Oh. I wonder if I just triggered a fight between the NCR and the survivor. Because they shouldn't really be... You know, friends, to be honest. So if we're lucky, maybe that has just triggered a fight there. But also, it's all gone a bit... Okay, colour scheme's gone a bit more yellow there. No sign of trouble yet. I don't see... Oh, I see something. Cannibal. Fine. You can just... And when I say you can just... Okay, the sight on this thing is slightly off, which is not helpful. Yeah, that will flip and do. Oh, there's another couple of them yet, though. Oh, they've got guns! They have many guns! Okay, get up close, 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 get up close. Right, that completely missed. Right, you can go down in one hit. And you don't seem to be shooting me right now, which is marvellous, because you're reloading. Okay. Cannibals with guns. Not fun. So who holds free side in that case? Well, I'm going to assume... Yeah... Potentially, it's going to be these bastards, but makeshift machine guns. That is a big old pile of ammo I can help myself to right there. Okay, that's a lot of 9 minutes. Look at that. 9.28. Lovely. Alright, get a bit of health back with just a bit of beer, a bit of Brahmin meat, and a quick stim pack. My limbs are in decent condition at least, and yeah, the meat's going to keep helping. Now, what have we got around here? Well, we've got dead ghouls. And we've got, not barricade, ooh, but, okay, if it's ghouls, that's way better. Ghouls are super easy to take out. If it's just ghouls, I'm in excellent shape and are oh, even more. Oh, yeah, this is good stuff. Well, we've got an entry point into Freeside. I can hardly say no to that. What is going on here? And why was there a note left for me at the 188 telling me to come here? And don't forget, if it looks like there's trouble... There's an alleyway pretty much immediately to your left where you can funnel some enemies. So be ready to use that. And the answer is, yeah, ghouls. Good. I've just got myself an absolute flipping ton of 9mm. This is fine. This is absolutely A-OK. -okay. So, you lads. Oh, but there's rats here. There are rats. The question is, how is my AP going to stack up? Probably not so bad. Actually, not so bad at all. Do not let them hit you. There's a lot of rads in that. Go! Oh, that's probably a hit with a few rads behind it. Yeah, you see, plus 13 rads a second. That's a lot. Okay. This is... That's bad, but it, it's not so bad. I just need to not let that happen again. Just get up close here. Finish you off. And... Oh, wow. Two shots to kill a ghoul in the head. Okay. This is plenty of XP. For not that much risk. 
Okay, this is fine. And actually, there's some rads here. Okay, maybe just do a rad X and a rad away just in case. Don't forget, I've also got the breathing mask on. So, time to figure out what exactly happened here. Oh, it's not... Yeah, it's not everywhere. Okay, that's good. It's not just rads everywhere. There's some more ghouls. And they've got a not terrible chance of having some... Oh, excuse me. Hello. Cannibals. Right, a couple of cannibals just hiding around the back here. And no, excuse me. Please stop shooting me. Just stop it. Okay? Seriously, go away. Oh my goodness, 10 millimeter machine gun. I'll be having that for the ammo, but other than that, it's not desperately of interest. In fact, I'll go over to the 10 millimeter pistol silenced. Keep a bit of stealth up and more powerful. Just in case I run into any more nasty things, like that guy who took two shots to the head. I want every single one of these guys going down to one shot. How many junk rounds do I have? Not many, just use normal rounds. Okay. Here we go. This is not so bad. We can handle this. Check all the corpses, by the way. Some of them might have notes or something on them. We need to figure out what's going on here. Like, yeah, you. Survivor. Crumpled notes. Nice. Let's get some information. Boys, you'll have your caps when we get to the strip. My uncle had a strong box buried out back behind Gamora. If I've told you once, I've told you a million times. The 2,000 caps I've got now are for the gate check. You know how the NCR is about that kind of thing. When we get inside, you'll get your caps. Logan. Okay. Right. Potentially, there's something. But it's just money. I don't need money. Yes, yeah, stay away from... Well, it's not the wind, because I'm in the wind right now. And that doesn't seem to have helped much. How many ghouls do we have around there? Just the one? And, will this more powerful gun... Yeah, that'll one-shot you in the head. Fine. So, you, head in this direction if you'd be so kind. And one shot will do for you. Yeah, nice bit of rebound. Lovely. Right, okay. So, spot... Oh, hang on. Oh, flip. That's actual cloud. That is an actual proper Sierra Madre cloud over there. Oh, that's no fun. Right, okay. This is starting to get a bit more dangerous. Now, the old Mormon fort. What's in here? And is it just a giant pile of ghouls? And the answer is... No, it's an NCR flipping camp. Okay. That's of interest. Okay, idea. How about we just activate those guys, aggro them, and then lead them outside? Okay. What if you guys are willing to follow me outside? No, they're not. Boom. Fine, so the NCR have got a little bit of a, a safe space locked away. Okay. Not much I can really do about that, to be honest. And the drop boxes apparently still work. Because <laughs> why not, eh? Uh, right. Bunch of ghouls need to be taken out. Can I handle that many? I should be able to handle that many. That should be absolutely fine. Nothing on the skeleton. Hello there! Right, bring it on. One to time, please. One to flipping time. All right, moving it on, moving it on. The old squatter camps around here. Nothing going on over there. More actual proper Sierra Madre cloud, though. Now, how about Mick and Ralph's? That should logically be open. If it's occupied, I can just clear it out. That might make a good... Well, maybe not a base, but it'll do... And then we've got, yeah, just a little bit of cloud around here. Look around the outskirts of that. What do we have? Well, it's still lit up at the bare minimum. So that's good stuff. Now, question is, how bad is the cloud? How bad are we talking about here? Because so far, actually, I seem to be walking through it without any problems. Which is not what I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. No. I mean, a handful of rads, but I'm, I'm surprised that it's been so easy so far. I was expecting, you know, problems. And this is a very good spot to take all these guys out because if there's... Oh! I have indeed been... Well, I was temporarily being poisoned there. Okay. So, the cloud is... Sometimes not quite where you'd expect it to be, by the looks of things. Right, just finish you off, and then probably it's time to... Yeah, just jump, just jump, just jump down. 
jump down. Now let them come back down to me. Let them do the loops around. Okay, they have to come back down the stairs. They'll have to come this way. Just in case it takes more than one bullet. Let's go over to the 9mm. Just for safety. I've got plenty of ammo there. Hello there. Yes, I'm rather happy I've actually got a full bar for you. Can I take you? Okay, good. Even a glowing one. Not too difficult to take out. Oh, hello. Sorry. Didn't realise you guys were here. My mistake. Um, how many more of them are there? Okay, um... Move around here for hit. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm taking more hits than I like at this exact moment in time. I think there was some hidden around the back of the sh shop. And that'll do for you lot. Right? No? More around there. Okay, let's just clear out these guys before we go any bloody further. And I've taken rad poisoning. That's fine. I'll rad away in a second. Anything else? No, I think it's just you and you're just stuck in a hole for no good reason. Okay, more bloody piles of them yet, and I'm stacking up these rads quickly, but I've got the rad away for the time being. Okay, I think I've finally managed to actually have a, a moment's peace. Right, yeah, I really should have cleared out this side before going into that building. So, there is cloud poisoning going on, not so bad. Now, you guys, Ranger Skeleton, dog tags, and... Hello, I see something there. Ooh, that is a riot gear helmet. Okay, I don't think that's better than what I've got, but ooh, military orders. Now that, that I, and service rifle, no. Value uh, non-existent means it's broken, so I can't even use that. Which is a shame, because I've got a lot of flipping 556 five, right now. Operation Exodus. Your orders are as follows. Hold the east barricade. So that's the barricade that we just saw. The one that we're just at the far side of. And the one that, yeah, leads out to the southern exit out of Freeside. Our main thrust should push the rebels north away from McCarran. It is paramount that they remain ignorant of the condition of the monorail. Let them choke in the dust. Okay. That would strongly suggest that they want them to think the monorail is broken. But it actually works. So... Pretty clear indication where I need to go next. Speaking of which, let's just quickly do a rad away and a rad X here. And just double check for any last survivors. No, we're good. And if I need any sleep, there are some mattresses I can use right here. Okay, double check for anything up top, but looks like we're good for now. And yeah, that right gear helmet definitely interested in that. Dump that, save the weight. Now, with the cloud poisoning seemingly not that bad, and yeah, you're just able to step through the cloud for a second without any major problems, let's just actually check if those ammo boxes around the far side are still there. Because if they are still there, yes they are. Absolutely flipping marvellous and get a bit of ammo back, because I've just spent a lot of ammo. Luckily, most of it came from... The raiders around the outside. And I'll take that. I can repair up my gun with that. Lovely. Ah, now this is interesting. So, Mick and Ralphs has picked up an NCR flag. Suggesting it's a little NCR outpost or supply store or something. Okay, check the rest of the skeletons. Actually, hang on. There's stuff up top there. Any chance you guys have got anything on you? No and no. Shame. I was kind of hoping we might be able to do something with that. So, what do we know about the NCR plan? They wanted to push rebels, or whatever that means, north. They would go straight past the cannibal fort and past the east barricade. Logically meaning that they would end up further north than what I've seen so far. So, who are the rebels? Because that's not really a word you'd use to describe cannibals or ghouls or anything, those aren't rebels. That would suggest a faction that's broken away from the NCR. Except they thought they'd got this place secured, but then of course some of these guys are just cowering in the old Mormon fort. So it feels like they're trapped. This has gone south, worse than they thought it was going to anyway. Now we can't take old Mormon fort. We might be able to take this place, but I'm gonna need a better gun. High quality police pistol. That'll do the flipping job. Right, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? I'm not looking at anything. Okay. Possibly that was just a bit of flavour. Oh, no. Right. It is just ghouls in the end. Okay. Sorry. My mistake. 
And... Back to hit him. Now, by any chance, either of you, Mick or Ralph, no, that's an NCR trooper. Okay. I can help myself to... Oh, strange meat. Oh, Mick and Ralph. Mick and Ralph went a bit... Oh, but... Note. Hello. So, a note from Mick. Things are getting pretty rough. How long do you think this place can last? I'm taking the guns and heading out with the kings. You'll come to... Uh, if you know what's good for you. Okay, fine. So don't bother trying to open up the uh, the gun place or whatever. That's already been taken by Mick. Ralph, however, potentially did not go with him. And I've got... Oh, vodka. That is rads down and sanity up. I'll do some of that, thank you. Now there's also, yeah, a nice convenient handful of food over here. Just washing down my vodka with a little bit of, uh, you know, actual uh, wine there. Goes together very, very nicely indeed. Okay. We can ransack this place. No one's coming back here. This is all 100% legit. Question is, is any of it actually worth taking? Grab the food on the way out. I may as well just grab that and just eat it all. Any chance of anything upstairs, though? Well, no sign of trouble yet. No. No. And we've got, oh my, look at that toilet. Oh, look at that. Only four rads per second. That is the cleanest toilet I've ever seen. All right, Mick and Ralph are to be congratulated on that. Bath's a little bit on the manky side, though. Okay, we've got, oh, beer. Beer, beer, and more beer. Love it. Okay, so we've topped up our boo supplies here. And there's plenty of food as well. Oh yeah, cram's pretty good. Minus 113 for only rads plus one. I think I'll just have both of them immediately. Spot on. Right. Keep looting the place. Let's see what else we can find. Nothing too major so far. Computer doesn't work. Programmer's Digest. That's probably not very useful, but just in case I ever need to open up a computer in an absolute flipping emergency. Sure. Big question though. What exactly happened to Ralph? Because the note implied he didn't actually come with, and yet no obviously laid out skeleton or anything. Where did Ralph go? And I'll be having all the rest of the booze as well. Yeah, I've had plenty of beer and plenty of vodka. And there's plenty of food downstairs as well. This here is a, a good spot to have a quick rest in. But I can't see any other note. Oh, blimey. There's... There's 150 rocket souvenirs inside this vending machine. Fascinating. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll take the cram for one weight and minus 113 food. That's worth taking. All right. That's a nice little port in the storm right there. Time to see how bad this cloud situation is. Because, yeah, it's a bit weird. Like, I feel like I should be in the cloud right now, but the game seems pretty cool with me officially not being. So we've got more troopers over there. Now, that looks like I should definitely, definitely be in the cloud. If you guys would just like to run out of the cloud, however, because I'd rather not, you know, give it a go unless I'm sure I'm safe. Thank you. Lovely. Especially as the troops are worth, like, yeah, they're worth, like, 45 XP each. That's a good, healthy amount of XP. Now, this town here is a dead end, so... Probably leave it. Here we go. Poisoning. Yes, yeah, so if you step in, when the game says you're inside, then you're definitely inside, yes. So, this, this here's a good way of dying in a hurry. Fine. So, it's not that fast, though. Not that fast at all. Okay, now I know how the cloud works inside dust. That's okay. All right. Next on my big list of places to visit. We have got ourselves... Yeah. If I were to cut through that area all the way back over there, that leads around to Cerulean Electronics, where you can pick up Fisto, obviously the most important character in the game, together with, yeah, the little... NCR place where they hand out supplies. Now, question is... Oh, yeah, that's... That's definitely proper... That's proper stuff there. There are ghouls back there, but... Yeah, you know what, leave it. Okay, that's proper cloud. No way I'm getting through that. It is... Yeah, it's thick stuff. That's properly thick. Right, in which case... Through into the next bit. Oh, no! 
very hard locked. Right. This place has been locked up tight. Okay, that's... That's interesting. Okay, ways to get through that gate. Literally only one. Unless one's been added round the other side in the same way that that back gate has been added. Okay, let's go over what we know here. I want to access the strip. There are two ways to access the strip normally inside this game. You could use the monorail, except, yeah, McCarran has been closed up by a barricade, so I guess I could go all the way around the outside of McCarran looking for another secret door that's been added in, but don't know if that's going to be the case. The presence of that vertebrate makes me think I'm supposed to get there by accessing the strip. The strip can only be accessed, aside from the monorail, through the Freeside Gate, and the Freeside Gate obviously has that gate through the coach. That's the only way to get from one side of Freeside to the other. There's no... No, it's not. There's a second way. Oh, it's through the bloody clouds. Because there's a way that leads through too close by to down by the Silver Rush. Alright. I guess we're going to give it a go. Uh, sadly, there's no sprinting. Yeah, I'm being poisoned. That's that's fine. I'm just going to have to accept it. Please tell me there's a bit that... No, there's, there's no... Oh, I'm just being... I'm being charged at right now. Okay, just just finish him off, finish him off, and then immediately go over to the next, please. Okay, I'm being... Oh, I'm no longer being poisoned at this exact moment in time. That's good. Keep running, keep running. Okay, I've made it through. I've made it... Oh, well, I have made it through. That is true. Yes, there's, there's a fair few, um, fair few ghouls here. Fair few ghouls. Mild problem, mild problem. Let's just quickly take you out. Are you close enough for a head as well? No, you are not. Okay, just just finish what we've got then. Okay, two ghouls go boom. Only one more left. I'm taking a lot of flipping rads on account of just a few swipes from ghouls. Are we, we're still in danger. Run, run, run. More flipping. I don't like you bastards. Right, I've taken a lot of health damage and a lot of rads to get where I am right now. If I'm lucky, one of you might have some flipping rad away. Sometimes you'll find rad away on these guys. Right, so you have to run straight through cloud into flipping ghouls. Well, that's just fun. Right, keep on the rad away. Keep on the rad X. Keep on the vodka. Please tell me this door's, this door's open. All right. Before we go there, however, if there's no cloud this way, I can go and check out the other two buildings around here. Because there might still be some food in the NCR place. Alright. Looks quiet so far. That door's not barred up. Let's see what we got here. Survivor hole. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Actually, point blank range against humans. Power fest. And oh. What? 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 Okay. I think somebody may have forgotten to turn off one of the quest flags. Okay then. Hello. Are you an actual NPC? What do you need? Oh no, you're just going to say what do you need because everyone says that. Right. I can't take any of this though. You'd be annoyed at me. I may as well have a little look see what you got at the back here. Honestly, it's not much. So yeah. Okay. The relief effort is still here. But if I try and take any of this, it's bad news, and Hello. I'm not sure any of it's actually worth taking, to be honest, so... Okay! I guess we're just all with the beer. And lots of dirty water. I'm gonna take the... Go, 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 go! Okay. No one seems to object, actually. Well, in that case, I guess I may as well just steal all of the booze that's here. As you guys don't actually seem to object to that at all. So I guess I'll help myself to the... Oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, now you're angry. Now she's angry. Okay, now she's very angry. But only her. Everyone else is... Everyone else is cool. Right, well, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. You have to go down at this point. Is anyone else angry? No, yes, maybe. This is all very odd. You know what? This is a silly place. I'm just going to leave. Oh, but not before I take this doctor's bag 
and these here stim packs. Do you object? No, you don't. Great. All right, don't bother with Cerulean. It's starting to get late and dark. At this point, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. Even if Fisto were still there, I wouldn't be able to activate him because I don't have the tape or the science skill to do it. In which case, we're going in to, yeah, the inside area here. Because sadly, I cannot open up the other. Boo. Question is, though, if that was locked off, this might not necessarily be in the hands of the ghouls. They might have held this side of the wall. What do we have here? Oh, we've got gunfire. Right. Whoever runs this place, it's that's a glowing one, though. Okay. Somebody is still firing a gun around here. It's still being settled. Gotcha. Well, we got this area back here. Let's just see what we can see. All right. Because that guy's going to go down too. Yeah, okay. There's there's a lot of flipping... Um, a lot of flipping... No. Stay away from the clouds. Stay away from the clouds. Okay. Though in all fairness, the clouds not the worst bit, really. I've got enough stim packs to... Hello! Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Have yourself a headshot, please. Have yourself a headshot. Thank you. Lovely. One at a time through the door. Problem is, I'm running out of anti-rads here. At this point, I am very reliant on vodka to get my rads down at least a little bit. And I'm going to be relying on stim packs to actually counteract the effects now. Ah, that's interesting. It looks like the actual Silver Rush is closed up because there was the note from the king saying the Silver Rush helped. They helped keep them alive. They actually helped the evacuation. But sadly, nothing left here. Okay, go, 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 look for... I can't see. I can't... I can't see what is or isn't cloud at this point. So I guess that means just keep counteracting with stim packs and hope. There we go. Okay. So there are spots without... That is... Ooh. NCR flag. Right. Now, is that, is that door open? That door looks open to me. And that looks like a dead ghoul. Which worries me, because who shot it? Right, if I'm about to go back into this, just immediately, you know what, screw it. Pop another stim pack and go through here. Oh, wait, hang on, no, this area is fine. Oh, good. Okay, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. That was a, that was a premature stim right there. Now, that to me looks like... That looks like another barricade. Right, well that's no good. Who killed you? Because Vats ain't seeing anybody. So who did it? This is... This is all very concerning. And also, ah, the Wrangler. I mean, lit up that nicely. I've got to think that's actually still a thing. Any chance I can unlock this door from this side? No. Still very hard. Maybe I could find a key? Inside the Kings or the Atomic Wrangler? Who flipping knows? Right, check the corpses. We might be able to find a bit more lore here. Execution victims. Yeah, we've seen that before. NCR got a bit nasty at the end of their time. And uh, the Kings is open. Question is, who's inside? No one. Except, oh, some rats. Hello. Uh-oh. That's... That's no good. That's no good at all. How many ghouls are in here? Right. Several. Probably more than what I'm seeing so far as well. Um, well, I'll see how far I get. I'd like to get up to the king's room. I feel like the king has got lore to contribute here. Oh, dear. Some of them might be trapped. I think some of them are trapped in rooms. Okay. If some of them are trapped in rooms, that kind of works for me. And I'm not objecting to having some XP either. You know? that That's fine. Okay. Go. Go. Oh! Yeah, I see you there. Hello, ugly. Right. Make your way upstairs as directly as you can. Okay. Which is round here. Round. Round. 
Watch your corners. Yeah, I see you over there. And then as soon as we're past the staircase, check behind me. Might have picked up a tail bite. No! Okay. Didn't pick up a tail. Picked up, but I saw someone over to my left. And I see you. These guys are dangerous. They can't do much damage, but the rads they're doing are crippling. And that's a real problem for me, because I'm running out of ways to deal with flipping rads. Four bullets remaining. Almost to the next level, though. And beer has worn off. Keep drinking that beautiful, beautiful booze. What is left at this point? What is left? Anything in here? Here we go. Into No, that's a storeroom. That's a storeroom. This is Pacer's room, isn't it? Yeah, this is Pacer's room. Um, Nothing of note in here. Okay. Here's the big one. We've made it to the king's bedroom. If there's anything in here, then uh, might be of use. No. Okay. Close the door behind me. I don't want to be followed. Or if I am being followed, I'd like to know about it. One boxing times. Nothing major. One bed I can use. Tell you what, that's not the worst thing in the world. I am starting to get tired. And then uh, double baseball bat, double duct tape. Fine, but not exactly spectacular. No. Was this worth it? I don't know if this was really worth it, to be honest. Probably it wasn't. I must have a sunset sarsaparilla, though. Okay, it's 20 past 5. What I'd like to do is I'd like to go and check out the Atomic Wrangler. And then I'd like to come back here to... Oh! Wasn't expecting to run into you. That's okay. It's fine. Everything's under control. Come on, let's get to level 10. That's what I need. Level 10's a pretty big one. Oh, did I just see? I thought I did just see. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right, we're nearly... We're nearly through. Another flipping nine. How close am I? I can actually check this, all right? There's no need to flipping guess. I am... Um... Okay, still a little way off. Still like 50 off, so I need a big one before I'm actually that close, actually, so it's fine. But I think at this point, the doors are closed and the ghouls aren't going to open them. I think I've now got a safe path between myself and the king's bedroom. And, you know, sleeping on that giant heart bed, that's pretty damn cool. I'm happy to do that. Let's just find... I think we're safe. And I don't think you can get around the back either. I think getting into the main room where the king is, you know, that always requires a key. Oh, I wonder if that key was on his corpse at Boulder City. I can't remember. It might have been, you know. Right, while there's booze here, I may as well take it and drink it. This here gets my sanity under control and potentially also helps me out with... Oh, okay. H2O is a bit of a problem, but I've got plenty of purified water. Don't even worry about water for the time being. Oh, there we go. Survivors. Oh, hello. Right. You'll be the guy that killed all the ghouls then. So there's an angry survivor over there. Gotcha. And you've got a gun. So I think we know what that means. There you go. One quick shot to the back for you, my good man. Now, is that alerted any friends to your own? He was walking straight towards ghouls. I should really have just let him keep walking. Just for a few more steps, he would have cleared out the ghouls for me, damn it. But before night falls and I decide to get some sleep, I'd like to make it to uh, the Wrangler. Because that is... Well, it's lit up, which suggests it's important. Speaking of sleep, yeah, 272. I need to actually have a night's sleep at some point. I've got the water. And there'll be some toilets somewhere in the king's place. I've got plenty of food for the time being, an extra cram I've picked up. So I'm okay for the minutes. Right, go with 10 millimetre. I might be able to, yeah, just stick in right by to this side. Again. There's an NCR flag up, but that doesn't mean anything. There was one outside Mick and Ralph's and no NCR in there, so who knows what's in here. And the answer is, it's ghouls! Okay, not desperately surprising, including one ghoul up on stage. Can't actually get to him just yet, though. Right, okay. So, you guys, bring it one at a time if you'd be so kind. So, we've got a... Oh, that's... That's a few ghouls. That's that's more ghouls closer together than I'd like. Are you lunging for me right now? Come on, come on, come on. Take it. There we go. You're down. I think you got hit in. And you just missed. One shot for you. Back off. You just missed as well. We are okay on the actions. 
for now. Back off, back off, back off. Reload, reload, reload. And go. I think that's the last of the ghouls in the first room. I didn't take a swipe, which is so important now because of the flipping, just the risk of rads. But then again, this is a bar. There's, hello! Can you not actually get past the bar? Because that door's locked. Oh, I bet that is the problem as well. Oh, you poor bastard. Don't worry, I'll come to you. And I tell you what, that gets me a bunch of... Oh, no, that's irradiated. Irradiated. Ah, but the wine and vodka are not, so that's fine. Right, away from the irradiated area. Yeah, very hard lock for, obviously, the back room. And we're still in... We're still in danger. Which probably means there's ghouls that know I'm here, but physically can't get to me. And... Uh, I cannot play roulette because I do not have the chips. Okay, open up the... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Who have I just upset? Who have I just upset? And why are there so many rads? Oh, hello! No, I've decided... I've decided no, actually. I've decided you guys can just stay in there. Right, we've got ourselves... Oh, hello! It's fine. Everything's under control. Oh, gosh darn it. He got a swipe in. Oh, that's annoying. And you're about to get a swipe in. No, you missed. There are a lot of flipping ghouls everywhere, aren't there? And yes. Oh, bloody hell. Right, up to the top. Up to the top, at least. Advanced radiation sickness. Three ghouls trapped. Oh, hello. Glad I spotted you when I did. If one of you guys would like to just, like, give me... There we go. One of you guys would just like... No, you got a swipe in. Gosh, flipping, darn it. So many rads. This hasn't been worth it at all. Unless I can get some actual useful information out of this place. This will have been a terrible waste of time. And level up. Okay. And doors I can open. Ah, I forgot that was a load zone. Was that always a load zone? Can't remember whether that was always a load zone. Right, so I've got the private bedroom of the actual owner of the Wranglers, which is good. We've got water right here. And we've got ourselves... Ooh, Nuka-Cola victory. Right, well, this area seems... Quieter. All right, we've got... Oh, first aid boxes. Okay. Medical cabinet. Psycho. No. No, no, no. Medical's great, but I need... I need Radaway. Right. Any chance of some Radaway in your medical area? Oh, no. Not that I've found, but I've finally managed to get rid of the ghouls enough. To go up to level 10. Now, we know what we need to do here. If I put my lockpick to 71, then with Mentats, that means I can hit 75. Then, all of those hard locks are suddenly able to be opened. Pretty bloody important. But, keep repair moving up as well. Because repair might get me out of here on that aeroplane if that's where I ultimately need to go. Now, as for the perk, I'm very tempted to take tag... Actually, yeah, okay. I could tag repair right now. That would get that to 61. Or I could tag lockpick. I mean, most of the way towards very hard already. Quite frankly, that's nice. Energy weapons, get a bit more damage out of the gorse rifle. Probably not the most efficient thing to do. Or get science into a position where actually, if I got science to 46, I'd have average hacking if I just did the mentats. You know what, I'm going to take the repair. Repair 61. And there we go. I've opened up that as well. And tragically, another medical cabinet, but no anti-rads whatsoever. Right. What is the situation with the rads right now? Because this is starting to worry me. So 468 at the minute. I've got only Radaway times two remaining. Right away in this mode does. What's the exact amount? Minus 8 for 10 seconds, so minus 80. Oh dear. Well, I guess I'd better do some of that. And I'd better just keep drinking the booze as well. Get the sanity back. And that's rads minus... Well, it says plus 1. It means minus 1. 15 seconds. So, with that done at least, that will get the rads ticking down in... Well... A decent amount. Yeah, down to 443. And then if we just let time pass for a second. Yeah, 420. I can get rid of advanced at the bare minimum. So I've got rid of that. Oh, and there's more scotch. Perfect. You know what? I might actually be okay. Beer 
is worth, yeah, 10 rads down by itself, and I've got 8 of them. I've also got myself, yeah, I've got wine, that's only 5, uh, vodka's 15, I've already drunk all of the whiskey. Okay, I've probably got about, yeah, I've got 160 minus rads in my rad away. I've got another good minus maybe 100 across all of this here booze. That might be just about enough to push me down into, yeah, the next level, back below 200, so I'm not suffering any ill effects. Though I think, actually, it's not the worst thing in the world, just basic radiation poisoning, is it? Yeah, minor radiation poisoning, endurance minus one. It's really not the worst thing in the world at all. I'll tell you what, this here is a nice, oh, floor safe. Sadly, lockpick 100, boo. I'll tell you what, this little bedroom, this feels like an excellent spot for me to take a rest. It is right now. Hang on. Got to be getting on. Yeah, it's 7pm. I wouldn't mind resting until morning. Getting a bright new day under my belt. Because when it gets dark in this game, it gets really flipping dark. So, I think this is an excellent time to call it apart there, ladies and gentlemen. We have made some... Well, we've made some good progress, but at a cost. At this point, I've pretty much burnt all of my anti-rad medication... I don't know where I'm planning to get any flipping more from. I can't even get rid of all of these rads that I've actually got at this exact moment in time. I am in potentially a little bit of trouble here. Potentially quite a bit of trouble, actually. Especially if there's plenty more ghouls to come. But the cloud only eats hit points. I've got enough stim packs to force my way through it. We will go and see what is happening at the actual north gate into the strip next time, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, it distinctly looked like it was locked up. Big old barricade. If it's a barricade, and as a result, yeah, no monorail and no way in by foot, how do you get in? Well, presumably, that door I found last time. And now, I should actually have the ability to get over to that, because I have got some beautiful, beautiful Mentats times... Uh, yeah, quite a few. In fact, skills, yeah, lockpick at 71. We should be absolutely flipping fine with that, ladies and gentlemen. So, one way or another, by hook or by crook, I think we're making it into the strip itself at long last next time. What is waiting for us there? I don't know. Ghouls, survivors, the NCR, could be flipping anything at this point. I have no flipping clue. So we shall see very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime... I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I can also just take this person and make them female. Can I just... <laughs> Perfect. I'm delighted we share the same level of ambition. Complete mediocrity all of the way. And then, oh, oh, the people at the back just kind of popped into existence there for a second. Okay, let's try this again with something else. I'm going to see if we can get Mr. Potato Head into this game.